This video was taken November 22nd, the night Adu Boache landed in Toronto from Ghana. He arrived with dreams of getting a job and supporting his wife and four children back home. He loved his family so much. Richardson Adorsu has fond memories of that evening. They shared a meal together and he drove Adu through downtown to show him his new city. He was happy and it was like 4 a.m. back home. So it was like he was telling them, oh, he's okay, I've, I've received him and I'm taking him to the hotel. And uh, he was very, very happy. Just three months later and three weeks into working his new job in a warehouse for Metro, the 40-year-old was shot and killed while walking by this bus stop in the Jane and Finch neighborhood. In a separate incident, and less than 24 hours before that, a 16-year-old boy was shot in the face and critically injured near the same bus stop. Police have said both victims were shot at random. Everyone was traumatized by what happened at that time, considering the fact that we have a very peaceful community. The Ghanaian community in Toronto has come together to help plan Boache's funeral, raise money for the four children he left behind, and advocate for justice. We all have traveled this path. You know, in one way or the other, we came into this country, and we love this country. And he being here for the few months only to, you know, encounter such a tragedy was something that really our community was, uh, was shocked to hear that. Back in February, community members, politicians and police went on a prayer walk to honour the victims, build connections and call for change. Well, it's a tragedy when you hear that happening anywhere in the city. It's particularly hard, though, when you hear about it happening in Jane and Finch is it raises these issues that we have around the stigma of violence in the community. Um, and so for those of us who have lived and worked in the, in the community for decades, it, it raises again this cycle of um, how we think about the community from a place of negative um, media, negative assets, rather than a place where you know, people can thrive. This command post has been set up since the shootings happened two months ago. Police believe the attacks were carried out by the same suspect or suspects. Officers say the investigation is ongoing and they're asking anyone with information to contact them. Toronto police have released this suspect photo in connection to the two shootings. Officers also canvassed a ravine in Stony Creek in February as part of the investigation. Police declined to say what they were looking for, but a black Acura RDX believed to be involved in the shootings was found abandoned in Hamilton. I really thought that, the, that this particular um, incident was going to be brought to closure much, much sooner. Uh, obviously, the person still being at large creates uh, some level of angst. Uh, but, you know, the community has been coming out, they've been engaging, uh, there, you know, there was a vigil, there was a, there was a, there have been several walkabouts, uh, uh, a community, you know, a safety audit has been done, uh, uh, several meetings, there will be others, uh, there's been lots of engagement with the local police. The area around Jane Street and Finch Avenue has seen improvements in community safety in recent years, with police saying last month that gun violence was at a 10-year low in 2023. But advocates say more support is needed, both from grassroots organizations and government. And those two shootings, uh, you know, something we hadn't experienced uh, in that way in, in quite some time uh, really was, uh, uh, it was a shock for all of us and especially for those who knew Adu, a man described as quiet, thoughtful and loving. His friend says he will be missed. I'm still in shock because uh, I've been home ever since this thing happened and it's like uh, I'm trying all that I can that um, my friend will get uh, a good barrier and um, will get justice for whatever that has happened to him. And I'm still hoping that um, the police is going to assist us to, to make this happen. Talia Ricci, CBC News, Toronto.